Make sure everything good, man. We gonna talk to him. That's it, man. El sistema OnStar no está activado. Para activar su servicio, presione el botón azul de OnStar ahora o llame al 1-888. Cuatro. What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Now, Jorge, say it ain't so. Now, what if I told you guys that if 6ix9ine didn't snitch, he was going to get snitched on anyway? What if I also told you guys that 6ix9ine's driver snitched on him for a green card? and two tacos what if i told you guys that well let's talk about it. now for the people that don't know what's going on i think we're on like day five day six of snitch fest right like listen this whole thing has been pretty crazy everyone has been enjoying it you know you've been keeping up with the videos or whatnot everyone has been paying attention now today's the day that six nines driver took the stand now, you guys know, right? If you guys watched the robbery video that went down when, when 6 9 got his goddamn chain snatched and snatched the wig off his head and all that stuff, right? When, like, when all that went down, 6 9s driver was there. Now, today is his day to testify. Now, today, 6 9s driver revealed that he was a freaking FBI informant. Yes, he's working with the feds. Now, keep this in mind, right? Around October, I started to hear a lot of rumors that was going around. Like, I was speaking to a blogger by the name of Industry Bitch, and she was also speaking to Jorge. Jorge was telling her all these things, like 6 9 was beating Sarah, and that's how that whole story came out about that. He was saying 6 9 was on pills and all kinds of stuff. Like, like he was telling so much information about 6 9 i am sitting back pondering, like, yo, man, nah, this don't seem right. Now, all of a sudden... All this stuff starts to come out, and guess what? A lot of it was real. Now, fast forward, okay, because 6 ix driver Jorge, he's testifying against Treyway right now. He's snitching on everybody. He's an FBI informant. For one of the rumors that I heard was he got upset at 6 9 because 6 9 fired him. Now, during the time that he got fired, Apparently, 6 9 owed him like $10,000 or something like that, right? But from what I'm hearing, 6 9 apparently got wind that he was like some kind of snitch or something. So 6 9 cut him off, but it was too late. Now, I'm going to play you guys this video. That's going to explain everything to you guys. But please be patient. 
let me read to you guys this testimony from from Jorge and the video that I'm going to play you guys is going to make a lot of sense and it's going to put the pieces together on this puzzle and it's going to prove that this guy was really 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 snitching and watching 6ix9ine now Jorge was in court today right and by the way shout out to inner city press and he was asked Mr. Rivera I want to switch gears now what is your immigration status did there come a time where you were arrested by ICE? He responded back with, yes. Then the question then goes, while you were detained, did you speak to law enforcement about cooperating? He responds back with, yes. Now, keep in mind, there's a chance that they didn't even know this guy was driving for 6 9 right? And he got arrested by ICE because he was banging his underage cousin. Now, we're going to get into that one second. He ended up cooperating with the feds because he got arrested by ICE and it was looking like he was going to have to serve some time. Now, before we get into that, to the rest of the information, I'm going to tell you, let me read you one more thing. They then ask him, what is your understanding the government will do in exchange for your cooperation? He responds back with, they will give me a letter. Now, the letter he's talking about is the same letter that 6 9 is apparently going to get for cooperating. And the letter is a 5K1 letter. This letter basically is presented to the judge and it tells the judge to give the person either no time at all or the least amount of time they can give them to serve in prison now he then responded back when they asked him like hey what is your understanding the government's gonna do for you he goes they'll give me a letter saying that all is good all is well as the bad things that i've done so he's trying to get his damn snitching papers so that way they can watch all of his sins and he doesn't have to go to jail for banging his underage cousin you guys watch this video of sarah talking about freaking jorge after the falling out happened between Jorge, 6 9 and Sarah. And all of a sudden, he went on a snitching rampage. This happened back in October to November. You guys watch this. The pieces are coming together. Jorge got locked up because his family called the cops on him for fucking his cousin getting her pregnant in October, and she had an abortion. You know, Jorge and his family called the cops on him, and that's when he was locked up. He was supposed to been, been deported, especially with immigration laws. Immigration laws now, <clears throat> but they're not stupid. Fucking, I asked him, I'm like, Jorge, you know, it's like really surprising me that you're here. I've had my aunt's husband get deported. And he goes, he goes, oh, no, I took money from my son's, I took $30,000 from my son's saving, savings account for a good lawyer. I'm like, good lawyer and all. Like, you were supposed to have been deported. I, did, I guess it's a miracle you're out. He worked out. And his family called the cops on him, and that's when he was locked up. Now, this is crazy, right? Listening to her speak, you could tell this guy was just stalking 6 9 She's talking about he was recording him. She felt like he was recording her. <laughs> Listen, in this guy's car... He got, he got better cameras than I've seen YouTubers have. This guy got some goddamn NASA cameras, man. And it's recording the robbery. It's recording everything. And guys, this dude was really out here ready to snitch on 6 9 Now, I'm looking at this situation, right? Because it appears that if 6 9 didn't snitch, Jorge was going to snitch on him anyway. I'm also hearing that there's another fbi informant out there as well so like you know it, i'm not gonna sit here and say that i 100 
can understand why 6 9 is snitching from that standpoint because there's some people out there who did not deserve to be snitched on. But there's some people out there I can understand why 6 9 would give them up, right? Like, like what do you owe to the people that rob you? you? You don't owe anything to those people. But he has some friends that he put in the position, then he snitched on them. But the simple fact that Jorge was already gaining intel on 6 9 in my opinion, if 6 9 did not become a government witness, Jorge was going to be testifying against him. And I'm pretty sure Jorge had already positioned himself against 6 9 anyway. That's how he's even in this position to even get this letter because they wanted to take 6 9 and trade way down. Jorge was already spilling the beans before 6 9 even put the spoon in. Pause. I'm just saying. You guys let me know what you think about this comment section below. I'm not going to say like this totally like vindicates 6 9 or anything like that, but it goes to show you that there was definitely other people snitching before 6 9 and Jorge is one of them.